I'm doing well. We're just now starting the demo part of the day. We just got done learning a bunch of physics stuff. You missed that. Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, let's start the stream, though. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to my demo part of my stream where I play two demo discs in one day. Um, I hope that you are all having a good time. Uh, today we're playing official PlayStation Magazine uh, demo disc number 22 and 23. Um, if you if you enjoy what you see, give me a like, just so you guys know I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube almost immediately after. That's why I'm saying it like this. If you see up here, you can see the current schedule. The countdown timer represents the next ad, when the next ad will show up, but that's specifically for people that are uh, watching me live, not right now for you guys. So whatever YouTube chooses to put the ads, I think that's what I'm going to go with, whatever the auto uh, ad is. Yes, you're here. Wonderful. Um... I hope you're all excited, because I'm excited. I love these PlayStation demos. Um, I'm trying to get better at uploading Shenmue, and uh, sorry if it's taking me a little bit longer than normal. Shenmue's kind of a pain to edit, because there's a lot of walking around. But for now, this is how it's going to go. Um, thank you very much, and let us begin. Would that be Genshin Impact? I might have to turn down the volume. Hey, Morgan. I don't care about your theories. Hey, boom. Has an MP, uh, FMV of 1.5? That's awesome. I actually know, I'm glad they remade uh, 1.5, to be completely honest, because that game is a little, uh, it was kind of boring. I'm so glad they made the version that they did, but, uh, alright, so first demo of the game is Bloody Roar 2. I actually really had fun with Bloody Roar 1. Okay, so we need to reset to play this demo. Got it. I hate when that happens, but... Heavy guard, jump, throw, kick, um, punch, beast, morph, beast attack, forward, backward, guard, crouch. Got it. Yeah, with resetting, yeah. The black square is always a good idea. Yeah, it is, it is a good idea, but I also, uh... I also like letting, like, full disclosure kind of thing for my, uh, YouTube audience. I might eventually adjust that way. It makes sense. Alright. What is that? Is that an Ava? Okay. Stun Beast Insect. Well, who doesn't- who wants to be an insect? Let's be- let's be a tiger. My first stone is a beetle. No. I miss crude art like this. Like, those muscles don't make any sense to me. Oh, wait, no. Those are triceps. Okay. Oh, already? Whoa! <laughs> Hmm. They're probably not a good idea to have you play as tanky characters for a demo. But this is fun still.
Oh my god. Okay. You know what? I think I like the first game more. Because the first game, when you turn into a beast form, they the characters got bloody. Like, you use your claws and blood would spatter on the ground. I'm gonna try again, but this time with Stun Beast. Dang. Oh, Dang Dong. That's what it looks like. Dang Dong is on my, my beanie. There we go. Combo. Look at that. I like the wings. That was cool. I feel like it's like Power Rangers almost. Like, I feel like a person in a costume. I like the beeping sound, or the sound effects. It's pretty cool. I definitely feel like the first game is better. Ooh. The the move movement is really cool though, I have to say, the motion capture is awesome. Yes, I, I meant to respond. I Early in the mornings, I don't really respond very well to messages. I usually, like, respond to them pretty late. But I'm glad that I'm glad I pointed you in the right direction. All right, cool. That was a great game. Let's reset. I, uh, I already have Bloody Roar and Bloody Roar 2. I might eventually, like... One of my concepts is I might do, like, a... Um, I might do some type of, like, community stream type thing where I have other people, like, join me when I play, like, fighting games and we can just fight each other and stuff like that. That sounds like fun. No problem. I definitely think Silent Hills 2 is, like, a game that's, like, a mandatory experience. It's, like, one of the greatest games. It's just, I love the emotional impact of it so much. Alright, next up. Interplay Sports Baseball. Okay, I have not played a baseball demo yet. Oh, by the way, uh, Chris, I actually played a, a football game that I enjoyed, believe it or not. That was kind of crazy to me. Well, that's interesting that they're telling me the ratings before they tell me the controls. Or after they told me the controls. Oh my god, cat. Come here, come here, come here, don't, don't mess with those wires. Uh, nope, not footballs and soccer. Footballs in American football, sadly. I prefer soccer. Which one? All right, let me see the name of the game real quick because I have it saved up real quick. Uh, all right, so the game that I played, NFL Blitz. It was made by uh, Midway, the people that make Mortal Kombat. And it was like exaggerated football. It was super fun because like the characters would lunge at each other and knock each other down in a very comedic way. And they were just super aggressive in how they moved. It was like playing, um, it was just really cool. It felt, it felt like action. It felt like I was actually like playing reverse capture the flag or something. It was fun. Um, like I had an entertaining experience the entire time. And I honestly was shocked that I liked it. In fact, I liked it so much that I'm thinking I'm going to have to get that game and a standard at football game so I can compare them. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what to expect for this game. I've never, I don't, I don't think I've ever played a baseball game. Firefly, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? It's like, why'd you call me over here? She's been like hanging out where the power is for the router. And I'm always so worried that she's going to disconnect me from Twitch. There's actually one of the very first clips I have is me saying, oh, don't step on it. And they, they stepped on a wire that shut me off. to the beautiful and historic Yankee Stadium. For tonight's exhibition game between the San Diego Padres and the New York Yankees, this should be a dandy. 
This should be a dandy. Man, this looks like arcadey, isn't it? Like, that's weird skin tone, too. Wait, am I throwing? Curve. I don't know who I'm playing as, by the way. There might be some HUD inter interface missing. Foul ball. Foul. Baseball only makes sense if you're drinking. It does seem like a drug sport. Ball one. Okay, I'm thinking that I, uh... There's interface missing from this demo. A fly ball to the right fielder. Because I, I feel like I'm missing something. A shot to right. Oh, I should have been controlling the... the base hit. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? What am, where am I throwing that? Hmm? Do I just play catch now? The first baseman, Wally Joyner. Strike. The count is 0 and 1. Way out of the zone. I think there's interface missing. Wait, what, what am I doing? Let's just play catch with the boys, huh? He skies it. Outfield. Yeah, I, I feel like moving on already, personally, because I feel like I'm experiencing a glitch. I'm gonna just reset because I don't, I don't think, not reset, quit. Oh my god, really? Because I think I'm missing some interface, and I think that's messing with the demo. Because I like I was I was pitching apparently and like I didn't see very many differences with what I was pitching so oh well it's fine it's fine it's fine next up Croc two I already played the demo of this before but um, I don't mind doing these demos again and again so I have a more refined opinion I already put it on my list of games to potentially play um, maybe I'll want to remove it as a result bling. This was before Crocs were shoes. Okay, this is a different level. Cool. So, the way he talks is kind of funny to me. Kapow! Curse Splat! So what I like about this game is that he kind of has tank controls, but they, like, make sense. Just said kabloof when I sneezed. Alright. It's not very satisfying collecting gems, though. I don't know what the perk would be to do that. Help! Does, uh, Danides, uh, Dantini's lock cage. Uh, I don't know what he just said. <laughs> I'll find the key, gobble! Also, it's weird that he has, like, the echo. Last time I played this, he was in a cave. So when he had the echo in his voice, it made sense. But listen to the echo here. Your second cousin's produced with the Croc games? That's cool. How many other connections do you have to famous people? 
you're related to all the Silent Hill people. Like, every single character is, that is fictional you're related to. <laughs> okay. Like, I think this game's cute, and, like, it, it makes sense to have. Actually, oh, that's weird. It's got, like, tanky controls, like, you hold left and you move left. Okay, interesting. Sorry. Like, the controls are very satisfying. I don't know how to put it. Oh, do I push it? Okay. One of the Bond girls is a baby. <laughs> that's that's kind of creepy in itself. They're too young, I guess. <laughs> Is there something up here? Can I rotate the camera with the... Hmm. Was it Xenia on a top? I have... No... <laughs> I don't know who anyone is. I'm so bad with celebrities. I know she was older. That's funny. Oh, wait, wait. You were the baby. I'm sorry. I thought you meant them as a baby. <laughs> Like, they were the baby. That makes more sense. Ow! Oh, God! Oh, my God. Kapow! Was Goldeneye band villain? What? Oh, oh, on the top was the Goldeneye band villain. Oh, it was Pussy Galore, got it. Um, done with game. Good, good. <laughs> Bond villain. Sorry, it's my fault for reading literally. Hit Gong with tail and you will return here if you get hurt. Yay, checkpoint. Imagine having that as a superstition. What the heck? Oh god! Bye. Oh my god, I suck. Am I dead? Okay, I have zero out of five. That's fine. This is fine. Chris Black. Oh my god, I suck. Oh no! All new story featuring a new quest for Croc. Return to Baron Dante. This is cool. I like this game. Okay. I This just confirmed that I will be playing this game eventually. This is a pretty experience. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Monkey Hero demo? I did, yes. I wasn't sure what I thought of that by the end of it, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not sure if I want to play that more. It felt... It felt a little scattered to me. Did you notice what it tells you at the end? Maybe I didn't. What did, what did it tell me at the end? The next Tetris. Now... Making a demo out of Tetris is dangerous, because I feel like you can get the full game experience if you're not careful. So let's see if they did this right. Elorg. Oh, that's funny. Yes, I did notice that, yeah. I think that a lot of Japanese games tend to use like weird slang that you wouldn't normally expect. Like, uh, Metal Gear Solid... Three, I think one of the things that they said was Metal Gear Solid is tissue. And so that's something that is like even remotely normal to say in English. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Clear the bottom row of blocks to win. Oh, that's a it's like a puzzle. Okay. Is this like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Oh, I'm an idiot.
This is weirdly quiet. Like I feel like I need the music. Oh god, this is a bad decision. Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's do this. Yay! Okay. History is one of the most inaccurate emulators. Uh, do you mean the PS3 emulator is? The EPCS3? Is that what you're talking about? For a lot of hours in the Game Boy Tetris. The Game Boy Tetris is definitely one of the smarter games to have. Like, if you're going to have a Game Boy. It just belongs here. It's just normal. Oh no! This is an interesting version of the game. Oh, I missed the timing up on that one. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Definitely doesn't make me feel smart to know that I'm this stupid. That's not good. Not good, man. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, oh. last second. It's very addictive, though. Like, I can totally see myself playing this forever and, like, till I master it. Ten seconds! Are you kidding me? I barely played! Okay, this is a good demo. No! Oh, well. Let me just see what you guys are saying. Sorry. Uh, talking about PS3 emulation of PS1 games. Interesting. Why is that? Talking about PS1 games. All PS3s are uh, PS1 retro compatible, which is great. Uh, that's neat, even if it's clunky. Really, yeah, I actually have a PS2 compatible PS3. Yeah, the fact that they removed it distresses me, though. Especially because that means that there's like I have a PS2 as well. I have a PS3. Uh, that is backwards compatible to PS2, and I also have my, um, 
PS2 in here, and I have another PS3 that isn't backwards compatible, but, like, ugh. It's, it's distressing. Um, I don't know which model it is. It was just one of the very first ones that came out. It has the uh, bonus weird little extra ports under the flap, too. Like, it has an SD card reader and everything. Which is pretty cool to me. Ape Escape! There we go. Hold on, I have to turn on my analog stick real quick. Got it. Right now my PS3 is not in a convenient spot, but next if next week or tomorrow I'll tell you if you're here. I I'm never gonna get an Xbox. <laughs> I uh the only game I was ever interested in was Halo, and the only reason is because of the split screen. This is a game that I want to play, by the way. I think I'm gonna put this on my thing my list early on. It's like Mewtwo right here. Gray Fox! Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox! The red ring is so bad, though. I, I knew someone that bought, like, four different Xboxes because they kept red ringing of death on them. Spectre in the Italian dub was voiced by Otacon's voice actor. Oh! Well, I remember Liquid Snake's voice actor was, like, in a bunch of cheesy things. Like, he, I think he's in Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, too. Hi, lady. Capture three monkeys. Gotcha. I love seeing the wireframe. Look at that. That's so cool. They can't do that these days because wireframe is just too smooth. Xbox, the best current split screen console because it's backwards compatibility. That's true. Good point. Okay, so I can smack and then I can catch. I do remember playing this demo. I don't remember. It was not on this. Tilt the right stick, swing the stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turn and stun the club around. And also, you can also make the monkeys fall down. Hurt them, please! Press the R1 button to jump. Ew. Swing the stun club with the right stick. Jump with the R1. Okay, that was a good summary. Oh! Ow. Gotcha! I love the uh, MGS minigame. Metal Gear Solid 3. Hey, can I capture the- oh, no, he's dead. Can I sneak? Hmm. Oh, oh, forgot. Forgot. It's- it's based on which way I face. I've mentioned this before, but like... My friend password, if you're my friend, if, if it's a password I don't care about, the password to join my games is usually gotcha. And it's because of Ape Escape. More specifically, Metal Gear Solid 3's version of Ape Escape. I wonder how Ape Escape helped out Kojima. They would make this, a, like, a minigame. Press the L3 button to sneak. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. Firefly, what are you doing? <laughs> this is a key game. Hold on, I need to write this one down. This is an important one I need to write down for myself. Ape Escape. That's a good game. 
that's a good Wednesday type game. Are you still thinking about playing Five Dates on Valentine's Day? I forgot that was my plan. My original plan for February was to play an FMB game every Friday. But then I decided Friendly Fridays was actually very successful for me, so I wanted to keep with that. This is a weird feeling game. I like it. Okay, I cleared that one. Oh no, that, this, okay. Firefly, what are you mewing in? It's just a closet. Spike, a new gadget is complete. This is a water net. It shoots a net. Underwater. Now we'll send this over. Try them out. And there's training space. If you don't clear the training, you cannot advance to the next stage. Well, good luck. He's not very iconic looking, is he? Like, he just looks like a math teacher. The water nets appears when you learn the water. Swim around using the left stick. Exit the water by jumping near surface water. You then uh, use the R1 button to jump. To speed up, press the R1 button while swimming or resurfacing. The faster you swim, the faster you'll win! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool! Wait, how do I resurface? Okay, not pr Okay, okay. That's cool. Okay, but if I don't press anything, I go up. Got it. Okay. The sign shows the how the left and right control sticks can be pushed like a button. Dive down, press the left stick. Stop pressing the left stick and you'll swim back towards the surface for air. Push in the left stick to drive. Tilt it away from you and you'll go forward and swim through the waterway under your waterfall. Cat. Did you just follow my wires? Firefly, I swear to god, if you unplug the router... I don't know what her deal is lately. She just loves the wires. I'll be right back. I'm gonna move her. Oh wait, nope. Firefly, come here. Come here. Come here. I wanna hold you. Firefly. Firefly. Come here. Come here. Got her. Mwah. All right. Cannot unsee, I cannot see the monkeys from Apescape in modern graphics. Press R2 without anything else and you swim towards the surface. Yeah, the cat is literally trying to disrupt the, surface, the game. Just so you know, if my stream does cut out, I will be back, okay? Okay. Oh, cat. Oh. She unplugged my headphones. Which means the game crashed. She disrupted the stream successfully. Firefly, what are you doing? Why are you so crazy right now? Let's try that again. <sighs> that was 22, right? That's a chunk I have to edit out. Monster. My wires are for dinner. I feel like I have to like block my wires off. I want to keep playing Ape Escape, so hold on. Oh, I'm not using the analog stick. Hold on. I need to make it so my analog stick is like the default every single time. Firefly, don't. <laughs> She's just, like pressing her foot on the wires again. Why? Why is she monster? Hold on. Let's just get these. I feel like I can get these guys fast. Also, I like that my lives are represented by uh Oh, this is sneaking. I get it. I get it. Oh, that's cute. I get it. Ow. 
This is a very satisfying game to play. My perspective is not very good, though. I did notice that. It was very cool. I, I, this game is, um, it's, it's, it has a little bit more depth than I would have expected. And it's a very simple concept. I really like it, personally. Alright. Boing. Oh, did I just... I'm an idiot. To where exactly we were. The sign on the left shows how to left to. Oh, right, right, I read that. I read that. Goodbye. Okay, I like the swimming controls. They're not bad. I think they could be a little bit better, but they're not bad at all. Press the right end stick to launch the net. And use it to catch the monkeys in the water. There's a monkey in the pool. Catch him by pressing the right stick. And then exit. And then the exit will open. Give it a try. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's... That's extremely cute. I get it now. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. That's hard. Here's the exit you passed. Don't forget what you, that you can swim past, fast by pressing the R1 button. You can use that water net anytime in the water. Have fun. Okay, bye. Uh, in case Chris is just lurking, Chris and Keller, I watched your GoldenEye video and very good pacing, solid info. You kept it engaging and fun. He's a teacher for that kind of thing. And also, in my opinion, his videos really do feel like, like if you had a PlayStation magazine, demo disc like it feels like his videos would be included in the disc all right four monkeys got it so that means the cheat engine you should be able to unlock weapons in the demo oh absolutely yeah 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 no you're right absolutely i i want to learn more about using the cheat engine when i was learning to hack for the first time i was using it i had so much fun with it my favorite thing to do was to find uh information that they kept secret like a list of names you weren't allowed to have ow Hi, fair play. Don't. Press the L2 button to get a movable camera. Got it. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Oh. There we go. Okay, I'm getting used to that. Text from UK demo disc menu so you can see the backgrounds. Yeah, that's something I've done before too. I love the cheat engine. I like that it's also like really hardcore stuff. Like if you get really into that pro coding. Yeah. Like my favorite thing though, um, I won't show it here. Um, I think I showed it in my Discord maybe? Oh god, no, I showed it in, uh, 
in Liquifool's Discord. Uh, but I, uh, uh, I found a list of names that you're not allowed to use for your character in Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. That was incredibly fun to me. Because, uh, there's so many swear words, you have to be like a nerd for racism to get most of them. Can I go up in this way? But it's the original, but also part of the collective unconscious. Yeah, I do too. Ooh, I can climb trees. One of the reasons I like playing demo discs is just because. Oh wait, I never, I never changed my category. I didn't change my title. Now I'm now I'm really late. There we go. Oh my god, cat! What? I have a cat that there are two cats in my lap right now. They both want to be up there at the same time, but they don't want to, like, bump into each other. Went to the extra step and turn them into gifts. I apologize that links don't, uh, work in my, uh, stream. Once I get more popular, Boon, if I'm more popular, I'll get a- I'll get a cat cam. But for now... It's just me. Oh, right, I can swim. By the way, this is a fun demo. I'm having fun with it. One more to go. Yeah, no, I will, I will eventually get a cat cam, for sure, though. I do think that some people would really like to see. Slice the, uh, you know, for a little bit, my camera's knocked over. But my camera's knocked over in such a way that it was kind of comedically, like, you could see all the cats in my room. And, uh, I didn't fix it for a long time. That A lot of people loved being in my stream just for that. Oh, I suck. That's a really cute emote. Yeah, I know. I'm cruel. Why would you capture anything without smacking it first? Take a sneak peek at the other two gadgets in the training room. Okay, gadgets training room. Oop. This is where I would save the game normally. Exactly, exactly. You have to. What is this? Okay, here we go. I'll choose the right one. Oh. Oh, where's the, uh... Ow! This is a training space. We've got two really cool gadgets for you to try out. Switches 5 and 6 open the rooms for the new gadgets. After completing training, you can use the gadgets. The new gadgets, you can search the cleared stages. There might be some monkeys hiding out. Capture them! When you return to a cleared stage, you can go for 100% clear, or you can challenge yourself with a time attack. That's cool. That This is like a, a, like a game, for sure. Like, right, 5 is one of them. Do I have to jump in? Oh, there we go. Holy! 
You mean I can... Hold on, wait, wait. I can upgrade my stream somehow? Hold on, wait. No, stop banning him. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Is it literally just spam attack with bots? That's funny. That was a bit excessive, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm just having fun deleting all these. Sorry, hold on one second. Uh, having to access to Prototype Hub would feel like an alternative dimension, huh? Alright, and I think... Oh, you. I forgot you, Patams. Goodbye, it's Patams. Oh, look at all those bands. Isn't that cute? Alright, what is this? Sky Flyer. Oh! Wait, how do I do it? Yeah, I'm, I was worried if I was going to accidentally ban someone. That was a really interesting spam attack. That person must have been really new at the whole bot thing. Right, hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How do I... It says X. Do I press R3, L3? Oh, 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 that's cool. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, this is brilliant. I love it. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. I am having so much fun with this. This is a good use of right analog stick. That's cool. Okay, where's six? Oh wait, six is there. Redacted. RC car appears. Press the right analog stick, you can drive the car. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh! That's cool. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love this. Oh, I get it. This is so cool. This is clever. I, I'm definitely getting this game. I, I like this game. I'm going to, uh, I already know I'm going to get it. I think I'll leave it. I'm going to be famous. Good luck. Yeah, good luck indeed. I'll never be famous. No one has ever given me good luck before. Uh, Duck Station, I would highly encourage you to try out. Um, I'm using RetroArch, which has a core of Duck Station. However, uh, the guy who made Duck Station got really mad at RetroArch and withdrew all of his support. And I was like one of the last copies that made available for that. But um, RetroArch is like the best uh, all-in-one emulator in my opinion. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Who doesn't like this game? I think Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Pro, to Pro Skater 2 are like one of the best games. I'm going to write this one down immediately already. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Because I already know I'm going to want this game. Oh, 
it's a two-player game. I did not know that. There's, um... I don't want to say who, but my last name is actually the same as a famous skater. Um, and I remember growing up, a lot of people were asking me if I was related to them. And it is an unusual last name, so I understand why people would say that. I love that he's going through like an existential crisis at this point. Oof! Okay, this is definitely a great game. Oof. Yeah, Link's Hawk. <laughs> Two different animals. Oof. I need blood in this game. Yeah, I'm Ethan Hawk, Tony Hawk's secret brother. I wonder, is he getting a hip replacement? Because it does seem in line with what he's been experienced, huh? Ow. Yeah, I can see this game being addicting. This is definitely a game I'm getting. Oh, I just realized, I wonder if... Oh, no. I wonder if this song will mute me. I should probably be louder, huh? Oh, God. Care careful, cat, please. You know what? The only skateboard game that I really played as a kid a lot was uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. <laughs> There's a skateboarding minigame in there. I used to, like, challenge myself to beat the game and also, like last way too long during the challenges. Good job, Tony. Anthony. That's cool. Wow, my well, score is pathetic compared to what this score is. Definitely getting that one. That one's great. Soul of the Samurai. Ooh, it's a demo. I was expecting a video. Alright. Uh, lock on, guard, parry. Put away, weapon ready, use item, jump, select, attack, talk. Okay, it's like Metal Gear Solid controls almost. By the way, how is the game's quality coming up for you guys? Because I, I noticed that like my screen was like outputting like Play-Doh looking graphics like it was kind of ugly looking to me right now You should be seeing closer to what I normally see, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'm gonna check it later I'm just wondering It was kind of ugly is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it might still be ugly. I might just need to figure this out a bit more I might need to upload at 1080p Ooh, is this Tekken? He's so macho <laughs> the animations. Excellent, thank you, Boone. I'm glad you're watching on your smartwatch. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, okay. I I love that game. I'm glad you saw it. The Game Boy, uh, the business Game Boy type thing. It was so cool looking to me. I always wanted a PDA like that. Um, I've always wanted to like convert my Raspberry Pi to something like that. All right. Uh...
Ooh. She has fingers. What's this? Oh my god. These are hand animated. Grown men? To picking on a child? Here baby, I'll lend you a hand. Um... It's like a... Okay. Whoever you are, I don't recall asking for your help. I'm... Oops. Shouldn't have treated you so... like a child. Relax. I just don't like bullies. I'm not interested in kids. Lady, what do you do? What did you do to get the authorities on your tail? I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to chat. I have to hurry. All right, maybe we will run into each other again. I can actually emulate the Game Boy Cam? I never even thought about doing that. That sounds wonderful. I might do that. Okay, I liked her, but I like his controls a lot. I'm gonna play as a ninja. Being a ninja is cooler than being a Ronin, in my opinion. Ninja. Ninja. I wonder if that's said with three syllables. I'm learning Japanese on Wednesdays, if you're wondering why I said that. A ship laden with Shogun's gold disappeared. A ninja, Shin, was dispatched to investigate. When contact was lost with him, the Shogunite, Shogunate sent three more spies. Unbeknownst to them was the presence of a fourth ninja, Rin, Shin's younger sister. What is this family drama that you decided to slip in at the end? Yeah, she was ronin' away from the police. That was a care that was careless of me. So much for my ninja training. I was thinking the same thing. Where could my brother have gone to? Maybe I can get clues by finding the lost transport ship. Ape Escape was great. I uh, immediately I put it on my list of games I'm gonna play. Ooh. So we thought this would control like um, like Resident Evil, but no, no tank controls. It's uh, 2D controls. Can I run? Oh, I can jump. Oh. There we go, running is L1. That's quite a run. I look like I'm scuttling. Ooh, oh, that's terrible, hold on. So not only is it not tank controls, but it doesn't hold the the orientation that you're when you enter the new screen. So when I'm moving at an angle right now, I'm moving. I'm holding down left. Watch what happens when I continue to hold down left when I enter the new screen. I move down left, down left, down left. It automatically is just trying to constantly adjust to the new camera angle. That is a big no-no when it comes to uh, fixed camera angle games. <laughs> What is the interact button? Nope. Maybe I just don't go this way. I have to say, her legs are gonna get cut up in all the thistles outside. All right, let's see. Oh, is this the way I was supposed to go? North? That makes sense. 
This kind of reminds me of, like, an arcade experience. Like a rail shooter. Oh, hi. Can I just murder these people? Oh my god, I just killed him. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. But I could. Oh my god. I'm gonna not do that again. This is interesting. So this is... Resident Evil mixed with uh, Grand Theft Auto mixed with... Uh, I need to gather more information in this village square. Oh no, is this like Shenmu? Do I have to talk to these people? How? This road goes to the castle, but the gates have been closed. The beach here is called Genryu Gahama. It used to be famous. And then it started doing drugs and it fell out of favoritism. To reach the sea, you have to go through Raven Forest. Heal herb is better than nothing. You should get some. I heard that a village nearby was wiped out by disease. Alright, fairly well, Nan Antonio. I appreciate that you hung out. Thank you very much. Wait, I thought I picked up a chicken for a second. Hi. Could you put your sword away, please? Um, I don't have it. How's this? Alright. Did you know that a big ship washed up on the shore? You want to see it? Don't go, it's unsafe outside. Now I know where the transport ship is. Okay, now I'm allowed to leave. This doesn't lead to the sea. Oh my god. <sighs> the weather has been strangely cold. Okay. This doesn't lead to the sea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this game. This doesn't lead to the sea. There's no real orientation in this either. Is there a map? I don't want to press the select button. I do appreciate that this is kind of like um, an RPG with NPCs that aren't trying to kill you, but you can kill them. That, that's pretty cool. Okay, which way am I going? Come on. I dream of being attacked by something like a giant slug. Okay. See a doctor. Got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for hanging out. Not my password. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. And I hope I continue to entertain you in the future. If possible. Take care. 
Oh, I just realized, if you're still here, what tea did you get? I don't think you actually clarified what type. But if you're gone, don't answer. Because that would be weird. Hold on, which lady was it that told me? It's... I know where it is, but like... How do I get there? Oh, really? My brother, Shin. <sighs> Come on, Lin! Don't give up so easily! But big brother, do you want to become an orphan again? What? We were saved because these master, because master recognized our potential as ninjas. Get up, Lin. You are, look at that typo. You are not a kid anymore. Yes, I'll try harder, Shin. Okay, thank you for the exposition. It's getting dark, oh, let's call it a day. I hit the R2 button because I thought it was a command. Alright, Shin, let's go home. Okay. Is this combat music? Oh, yay. Okay, the combat is kind of satisfying. It reminds me of, like, the combat in this reminds me of, uh, Tekken. Uh, the, sur the survival kind of mode that they have. Or, what was it? There's a certain mode that this came with. Oh. I just don't like the fixed camera angles. They're not good. They remind me of Fear Effect 2. And that gives me PTSD. That game is bad. Oof. Sekiro definitely took a change, didn't it? Hanzo! Li Lin, why are you here? He's hurt bad. Don't move. I have to treat your wounds. I mean, I think I would like this a little bit more if there's voice acting. Lin, why did you come? So this is where you hid. You shogunite dog. Huh? Another one of your ninja friends. How convenient. I just slaughtered a bunch of you guys already. I don't know if you guys are smart for doing this. Okay, the combat in this is pretty fun. I will not lie. Sorry, I'm learning. It's also a little bit clunky, though.
Did I just die? Oh, I died. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. I like, uh, you know what? I like that game. I don't think I'll play it on stream, but I liked it enough that it, like, I have a positive opinion of it overall. Find your choice. Available this summer. Soul of the Samurai. I'm, you know, I'm going to put that in my list of games to look into a bit more, but not play necessarily on stream. Hold on. Soul of the Samurai. Okay. I've looped. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Wait, did they put two different baseball demos on this? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm confused. They did. Interesting. All right, MLB, I think, right? Yeah. In general, I don't really like sports games. Like, I prefer, like, games like soccer is pretty fun for video games. But, like, I don't know. I think that this is for, like, if there's an off-season, that's why you would play these games if you're a fan of watching these things in general. I'm typically not. Okay, Craig, let's do this. Who am I playing as? My team red or blue? Okay. Uh, let's do... Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Try. Oh, I like this. This makes sense. Try. Wait, I thought... Oh, interesting. I thought that was going to be out of the zone. I'm learning. This is a, this is not bad. This the, watching old baseball is like uh There we go. Oh, foul. Okay. So I need to be more careful. That was a 73 power. That's not that good for this. Oh, God. I like the bonus screen in the top right, if you look at it. Ooh, terrible. Do I did it? I was trying to, I'm trying to, like, manipulate the ball a little bit. Do I have to get it, like, center? There we go. Okay, apparently I have to hit it in center. Okay, this is not that bad. Hey, it's Sammy Sosa. That's a name I know. I don't know why I know it. Oh. <laughs> they didn't count as a strike, thank God. Oh. I'm not fast enough. That was good. Hey. Hey. Like, that part's a gamble, isn't it? It feels like I'm gambling when I'm playing this game. Wow, he's wearing his cup.
Hey, I didn't tell him to do that. Like these, like, I definitely, I definitely don't like the fact that I have no idea what these guys are doing. It's just they're going crazy back there. Mike Piazza. Back when I used to collect N64 games, couldn't look at a stack for sale without at least one sports game. Yeah, I just... It's really interesting to me because, like, sports are such a non-nerd thing and then they always market video games as though they're two nerds or something. So, if, are the bases loaded right now? Oh, please don't. Don't do it. You monster! <sighs> I think I'd rather play bowling than this game. I love how everyone has a baseball body. <laughs> like, outside of this, he doesn't really do much. Alright. Uh, fastball. Okay, I like the concept here. If this is two player, you're like trying to match each other essentially. Milo's Astrolings. I put one of the. Hold on, let me find out which one it was. There was one, re, uh, one bowling game that was really interesting. Circuit Pro Bowling. That one was weirdly funny. I thought I thought it was great. Haha, right. <laughs> it was an easy one. Um. Yeah! Oh, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. Catch it, catch it, you idiot! Yeah, this... <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of this. This is just not... I'm just not a fan of... I think I like the game that I saw for, uh... I like the game that I saw for... Wait, what, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, the buttons represent the face buttons! Okay, okay, okay. That's smart. I don't know, this is just... Hi, Terry, how are you doing? Alien bull. I also like elf bowling. That's another fun one to me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so I'm just like. <laughs> Come on, try to catch the ball. Come on. I am doing good. Just trying to get into the feel of uh, liking sport ball. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh yeah, I don't know, even know if I clarified it. I like the uh, the baseball game that I saw in the Princess Bride. That's the one I was wanting to mention. Right. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, okay, let's quit. Yes. That was a fair enough. Ken Griffey Jr. is your favorite baseball player of all time. I think sports games are better alternatives because or are better alternative because you get to avoid the downtime. He says hypothetically watching live entertainment. Yeah, I I get it. Yeah. I actually I used to think that if I was more into football, like if I was a big fan of football, what I would personally do is like put on football as like a PS2 game with CPU versus CPU and I would just enjoy watching that, I feel like. But I'm not into football. Jet Moto 3. Nine eight nine studios. This is a 989 Sports. Oh, because it's they're on hovercrafts. Listen to this music. Now this is a good demo. It's gonna be a game that I play as well as a video. Oh wait, or is it just a video? I didn't actually see that. Look at this. I do like racing games a lot. I don't think I'd be good at this. This looks like the quake of Jet Moto. Racer Pizzing Dynamic Tracks, all new 3D engine, love and awesome Jet Moto bikes, playful season, custom circuit, stunt missions. That's not bad. I don't think, I'm not interested in playing it though, but we'll see if I ever get the demo. Oh, this way, this way. Xena Warrior Princess. I own this game. And it was, I remember being disturbed by the amount of civilians dying in it. I wonder how 989 Studios is doing these days. <laughs> oh god. I remember I had to use cheats to beat this game. I wonder if Kevin Sorbo makes an appearance. <laughs> the Liu Kang bicycle kick. My my uh, parents got this game for me without like I I've never shown interest in either Hercules or Xena. Yeah, he does. Kevin Sorbo's an idiot. Got it. So, one of those, uh, th the four E's. Embrace, extend, uh, extinguish? I guess, maybe there's a, th I guess it is three E's. I thought there was four. Oh, well. I'm talking about, like, Microsoft's secret policy. Macross... Uh, VFX 2. Now they... Ooh. Immediately I'm appealed. Okay, this is cool. I can just hear the hair. I just realized this is Japanese. Okay, this is cool.
It's like mechs. They are mechs. What the heck? Okay, I'm getting this game. I'm getting this one. This looks amazing. This is kind of awesome, huh? It's like early Zone of the Enders. They were words with another dev team to become Sony San Diego, and they most likely make MLB the show nowadays. Interesting. Mostly make, not mostly. No. I'm writing this one down. This was actually a really cool... Uh, I like that trailer. Uh, Macross... VFX2. That was cool. Cool, cool, cool. Street Fighter Alpha 3. I kind of like the 2D Street Fighter. I don't know why they moved on to 3D. Well, other than the fact that it's cheaper, but... What is the best Street Fighter? Is it Street Fighter 2 or is there others that are better? I like this one. This one has cool backgrounds. The only Street Fighter lore I know is the one where the guy who played Gomez was in it. It was his last movie before he died. That's the only lore I know, and that's the only one I care about. You know, I might put that one on my list. I'm gonna... But I do think that Street Fighter 2 might have been its peak. But then again, it's still popular. Okay, we've looped. We're on 22, let's move on to 23. We're getting through these discs a lot faster than I expected. I'm really excited about that. PlayStation. Alright, we saw this intro already. It didn't change much. <sighs> In the intro, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this the format here. Jade Cocoon. This is that one where you can transform into monsters in the middle of combat. It's a turn-based game though, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You do. Crave Entertainment. Hey, it's Genki. I know Genki somehow. So look at this. This is really cool. Look at the art style. I think this is one of the appeals. Like it's like got FMVs with anime. Like this looks like it's uh, really high quality. Like, that's awesome. That looks awesome to me. 
I already have it written down as a game I'm going to be probably playing in the future. Yeah, that was beautiful, wasn't it? That was like Miyazaki style. Like immediately drew me in. Like I don't care what these gameplay graphics look like. I I loved it. Hi. Hello. Triangle? Wait, what? Triangle's the run button. Don't overdo it. At least until you get better at hunting. All right? I like that it's voice acted. That's Try nice. Try talking with Garai if there's something you don't understand. But watch out. Her stories are long and boring. And don't tell her I said that. I'll do my best. Wait, is it not Foley voiced? Okay, that's fine. There's a lot going on here. Well, now what? Perform divine magic? Why not? If you select two monsters, I can combine them and create a new one for you. Oh, that's cool. If you spin a cocoon for, into silk, you can sell it into this town store. Don't, but sorry, it's closed till summer. Okay. Okay, I already have it. Okay. So everything seems to be exactly how it should be. Well, take care. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, it's all good. I definitely wrote this one down already. If anyone's curious, I'll, uh, here's my list currently of games that I have. I'm, I'm going to put in chat real quick. If anyone's interested in the demo ideas that I've been having. I, I put little notes on them before, but I kind of stopped doing that at some point. Here's a list of the games that I have been uh, considering playing. Oh wait, did it not post? Oh, it didn't post because it must have been too... Oh wait, no. Because the enter button. I'll put it in my Discord. Uh, go to live chat if you want to see it. That's the list right now. Uh, those are games that appealed to me in some way. And this is definitely one of them, for sure. Like, I just like the art style and the effort. It's, it was a lot more than I expected. His walk is a little awkward, but that's fine. This is early, early games. Hi, lady. Oh, that's cool. Look at her model. Ever since your father disappeared into the forest, Chorus has been taking very good care of Cyrus. However, he promised to do so only until you came of age. I really like the way this game flows right now. I think it would be right best now. for you to study under him. And I'm not the biggest fan of JRPGs. Is there anything else you would like to know about? Cocoons, purifications, your father? Nah, I'm good. Well, you should be off now. Oh, and please do be careful. By the way, there might be days that I watch an anime in stream at some point. I know some anime that uh, don't have copyright at all. And I think that'd be kind of fun to watch. They're not all good. Some of them are really bad. But I find that to be endearing. All right, how do I, do I just, do I oop, interact? Oop. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like um, a dating sim, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's go to the gate. Proceed, yeah. Again, triangle button being run is a weird concept. Ooh, I don't like... Okay, another thing I don't like is if I interact with an invisible wall, my character tilts away from it. It's a monster collecting game? Yeah, it definitely feels like it was trying to respond to Pokemon, but it also looks like it put in a little bit more effort than Pokemon, to be honest. Actually, that looks like the gate is open over here. Nope. Dragonfly key needed. Okay, so I need different keys. <sighs> I love moths. Moths are awesome.
Okay. Is this where I was already? Hold on. Maybe I didn't talk about it enough. Hold on, let's try this again. Let's talk about your father. You're just like your father. A cocoon master is not a warrior. Capturing the minions and then soothing their souls. That is the work of the cocoon master. The blade of the cocoon master... Speak closer to the mic, please. Only. Know you that it is not to be used for slaughter. Uh, tell me about your father. That was soon after I left the Nagi village with Marvu, who was yet an infant. I came across a wounded man laying collapsed on the ground. He was a cocoon master. They were grave wounds, but my treatment revived him. The man thanked me and produced a flute from his pocket. He said that he wished me to deliver it to his son in Cyrus. Then he disappeared into the depths of the forest without telling me why. That man was your father, Rikep. Oh, my father. I also thought it was known your father. As the Lion of Peril. Lion clothing. So, we were fated to settle down and live here in Cyrus. Perhaps this too was the will of Erlim, god of the forest. God of the forests. Okay. Well, you should be off now. Oh, and please do be careful. <laughs> Garai is a male character in Chrono Cross. This isn't related to Chrono Cross, though, right? Alright, let's go back to the gate. Maybe now that I've spoken to these people... I don't really know how to progress. I feel like I might need a strategy guide for this game. My father? Much like yours, went deep into the forest. Said he was getting cigarettes. Turns out, all men in the village sneak out there for the forest gambling. That makes sense. Alright, hold on. There's gotta be more. No. Hold on. They, they, there must be something I'm missing in this house. Do I have to exhaust all dialogue options to progress? That would be fine. Don't overdo it, at least until you get better at hunting, all right? Try talking with Garai if there's something you don't understand. But watch out, her stories are... Oh, wait, wait, we heard that. Okay. Well... Hey, lady. To begin with. You must become a full-fledged, and then you should ask about the Calip. Okay, I'll ask about the Calip or whatever. Um. I don't really want to get into the lore of this without actually having the game, because I'm going to be learning, right? The minions that you capture in the forest are merely imprisoned in cocoons. A firefly cocoon is of no use to you as it is. Gambling is awful. I feel like it exploits people that can't control themselves. I see. I used to sell scratch offs, by the way. That's why I stand this way. You will find the minions to be useful in more ways than one. Purification is the work of a Nagi woman who has wed a cocoon monster. Okay. Releasing the spirits is not your work alone. It is to be done by both of you. Okay. 
Wait, we already... Wait, wait, that's one I already did. Okay. Scratch-offs are a binary thing. You either win or you don't, and they're pre-printed. A lot of the people that I dealt with seemed to think that it was like fate or something. It was really messed up in my experience. Just depressing. Alright, hold on. Is there really, hold, what do I do? What do I do? I'm still interested in playing this game. No matter what experience I have right now with this, I want to be very clear that I'm I'm going to probably play this game in the future. All right. Even if I don't get this demo to work proper. Do I have a key, maybe? Maybe I need to check my inventory. What is this incredibly random question? Charity bingo is like that, watching folks for at least $20 in bonus cards. <laughs> yeah. I, I prefer games that have skill. I think that's just... Oh, I did have a beetle key. Okay. Is this Kaufman from Silent Hill? If you are a real cocoon master, prove it to me by playing that flute. Slowly now. Okay, I'll be as slow as you like. Hmm. If they test for nicotine, that'd be silly, I think. So if Riketz's son has ventured out here to the forest, something terrible must happen to in Cyrus. Tell me what it is. I would think that they would be able to determine secondhand smoke from direct nicotine injection. Ingestion. So, you have come seeking the Calabas herb. Still have much to learn. Like, they're not, like, um, I guess the word is hotboxing in a car, right? For nicotine. My name is Chorus, and since my friend Riketz is not here to do so, I shall be the one to initiate you into the secret parts of the Cocoon Master. Oh, you're not going to say that part? The path to becoming a cocoon master will be a long and difficult one. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have. Um, I have none. Let's do it. All right, then. Let us put what I have taught you into practice. You've taught me nothing. My retreat is in the depths of this forest. If you arrive there safely, I shall acknowledge your potential. <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master worthy of your father's name. Go on now, get going. I like the, the interaction in this game, it's kind of cool. Are we going to see some CJ? No. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that camera angle. Hey, do you want to fight? Wanna fight, buddy? I'm just seeing if it's real time. Okay, attack. Ooh. Pathetic.
Is the nicotine more concentrated on exhale? That's what I want to know. I would think it would just be the, 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 the smoke aspect of it. Oh. <laughs> At least it doesn't feel like random battles. That's nice. I actually really don't want to play um, Final Fantasy because I don't like the teleporting into different battle zones just randomly. It doesn't feel right. I, I always like the fact that Pokemon like gave you at least an excuse. Like, oh, you were in the tall grass. It just makes sense. Good job, boy. I don't know what I'm looking for, if there's anything in the background. Also, I like the dynamic camera during this. It's interesting. Kind of dizzying, though. Interesting. I guess to get certain medications, you would want to make sure that nobody thought you were smoking. Or if you're going to get on insurance. Look at that, I turned into him. Well, good. I'm glad that she's comforted by this. I think that you would have to also feel the effect in order for you to really, like, for it to qualify. Like, uh, like... If you started feeling the nicotine rush or whatever that feeling is, then maybe, maybe it was in your system enough for that to happen, but... This is definitely like a Pokemon game for sure. Oh, what the heck are these? Mukambu. Did it just heal? It did. I'm capturing you. Oh, capture failed. Okay, let's see if I can run away from battle. Can I do that? Ow. Retreat. Ugh. <laughs> okay, you can basically avoid enemies too. That's nice. Hey, can I interact with this? Locked. Okay. Smart idea to lock a chest.
Okay, I like that I can avoid enemies. This game already is appealing to me on multiple levels. Hey, wait. Oh, okay, that was creepy, the way that moved. Oh god. <laughs> Looks like it does the four elements thing, where there's uh, earth, water, fire, wind. These, uh, these camera angles aren't terrible. The running away thing is funny, though. Wait. Oh, that's weird. Triangle itself by itself makes you run. It's not that I'm holding a move button, but... It is interesting. I, I'm I'm enjoying this game. I don't know what what it reminds me of either. It reminds me of a Miyazaki film though. Okay, these guys are actually avoiding me. Okay, I'm liking this game even more now that I know that not all the enemies are trying to get at me. What is that? Hold on. No! I'm running away from you. Oh god. Wait, am I poisoned? Oh no. Strange key, got it. Oh god, nope! Oh, what the? Oh, I get to choose, but oh, that's cool. They do like an over the shoulder camera for that. Why didn't I attack? Oh, I chose a defense. Okay, okay. I'm gonna end up dying. This is house. Did I make it? Did I win? Aha! So the son of Riquettes is even more capable than I had thought. Kind of wish I wasn't a silent protagonist. I checked my text for information on the Calabas herb, but came up empty handed. Did you use Control F? But I have heard of a folk tale that describes a powder that wakes the sleepy. It is a tale of a wondrous powder possessed by a bird man named Kikina, who lives in the dragonfly forest. This powder is called cocaine. Perhaps that powder is infused with the calabash. So 
though this is but conjecture, I think it is worth looking into. Here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. Yay. Well then, head back to the village and continue to build oh. your skills. Gregory Horror Show or Silent Hill 1? I would say Silent Hill 1. Uh, my advice for you, though, immediately, is to always rely on the map. And also, every room you can enter is a room that's important, so make sure you just observe it. Yay! That was cool! I'm looking forward to this. I also love that they emphasize the ability to breed in larger font than any other. Finally, I can breed. Breeding mechanics are such a strange thing. It's cool. I, I'm excited about that game. That game is a. Oh, is they going to play the demo again? Or the v, FMV again? Look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah, the game is uh, the game is very challenging. Uh, I played it without a guide, but I had speedrunners watch me play, and they gave me a little bit of animation or ad advice. Read the word animation. Yeah, the animation is going to be what's going to make it really awesome. I think to experience. Oh wait, did I go this way already? Yeah. Oh wait, no. This is new. New demo. Okay, NFL Extreme. This is definitely not what I'm looking forward to playing. Oh, it's a video! Thank you, God! It's a video. What was that? Who's the master? This is my world, baby. This is my world. This is my house. Don't you understand? Really? Did they just record him out in the field? Hey, Jace, welcome back to Streaming World. How are you? Also, welcome in, Raiders. We're playing some demos. Uh, and by playing, I mean we're uh, also kind of sort of uh, watching the videos in the demo disc as well. Welcome in, welcome in. What game were you playing? Oh, and for those of you that are kind of relatively newish here, just want you to know uh, the thing above me is my schedule. Uh, the countdown timer tells you when the next ad is going to show up. And uh, if you're interested in anything, by all means, just feel to ask about it. You played Evil Within? That's a game I want to play at some point. That's on my to-play eventually, but I like, I need to clear up more on my schedule for that to happen. You have cyanide pills if anyone wants to take the easy way out. Nah, I'm good, thank you. I know how to make them. One step ahead of everyone. I'm going to cut that part out of my uh, VOD. Um... <laughs> Alright, next demo is NFL Game Day. Oh good, it's another video. I don't like playing football games. Have you played Evil Within before? Do you like it? Oh, this song might be copyrighted. I know this is like a, like, I think this is an iconic song. Sorry, could you say that again, but more clear? It'll be like a real game. So I played recently uh, a football game that was actually fun. It was uh, NFL Blitz. It was made by the guys who made Mortal Kombat. It was fun. First 
Okay, someone messed with the tint's exposure. That is the laziest video edit I've ever seen. You know it's an iconic song? The intro to X-Men. Yeah, that song's great. It's your second time playing it, but the first time was back in 2015. Got it. So it's gonna be like the first time almost. Shaolin. Getting all the video part out of the way, I guess. Oh, this looks fun. Whoa. This is that audio compression. 40 characters! Mokujin? Okay, you know what? This actually appeals to me a little bit. Up to eight player. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks like a party game. Okay, I'm adding this. I'm adding this to my list of games. Hold on a second. Shaolin. That was pretty cool. I did not expect that. You don't know Jack. Oh, it's a demo. So, I know this is a game show type of thing. Is it, can I do this single player? This is a game that I want to play, like, I think there's a stream version of this game. And See, yeah, that game looks amazing. Why don't I just read what I've got, and it doesn't matter if something else is on the on the screen. It'll oh, be hey, funny. Oh, hey, you ever get your couch cleaned? <laughs> Hi, my name's Raul. On behalf of the staff and management, I welcome you to You Know No Jack. Now, uh, let's get a move on. Now, listen, people blow this all the time. When a question comes up, if you want it, buzz in first. Then hit the circle, triangle, square, or X button to pick the answer. Got it? It's simple. Okay, so these buttons in the front will be your buzzer. Front? And these four will be where you pick the answer. Simple as pie. However simple pie happens to be. And go to black. All right, have a good one, everybody. Four, sure three. Heavenly Critters Pet Cemetery. For those times when your love doesn't fit in a shoebox. Your turn, player two. What's it gonna be? That's a very subtle joke if anybody got that one, but I liked it. Um, um, Let's finish the game sometime this week. Say hello to, if you fall out of a tree in a forest, does anybody hear? Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Ears up. Which of these excruciatingly painful screams is an example of the Doppler effect? Ooh. Is it? Ah! Ah! Is it? Ah! Is it? Ah! Or is it? Ah! <laughs> Square. No, got it. Player one. When someone in a great amount of pain runs by us, their cries seem to get higher in pitch the closer they are to us. And you know, just the opposite as they go away. That's the Doppler effect. Yay, I know what I'm Close doing. attention the next time somebody runs by you in great pain. You just might learn something. That's why cars are like... Player one, tell me what's happening. Um... Open wide and get ready for snap lightly and carry a big stick. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Hey, Hepcat, let's see if you're with it or not, you dig? If you were to beat a beat poet about the head and shoulders, which of these writers would need a parade to cover their bruised and battered skull? Tom Wolfe, Allen Ginsberg, William Faulkner, or Abby Hoffman? Oh. I actually don't know. I'm going to just yours, player one. wager no, a guess. Tom Wolfe wrote the right stuff. Hmm, Sorry. Ironic. Make your move, player two. Poor player two doesn't exist. I think I'm gonna end this demo here. 
But this is a series that I'm probably going to play at some point. I really enjoy... Uh, that's that's a fun concept. I think there's a Twitch integrated version where I'm playing against chat. And uh, that could be really fun. But I think I need... like. For that to work, I would like to have an average of 20 people watching me at one time. Right now I have 17 people watching me. Not an average of 17, but I have 17 people watching me right now. So if I was to play You Don't Know Jack with the audience, I would like just a little bit more feedback. Like I know a lot of people like Lurk, and I feel like 20 is the number where people aren't lurking so much as they are playing as well. Tiny Tank, the demo. Radio speak, teeny weeny, uh, jump, booster jets, fire, rotate turret. Okay, this has potential to be pretty cool. I have a, there's this one demo that's really fun, not demo. There's this one Japanese exclusive game that I have in, on my Raspberry Pi that's really fun for the PlayStation 1. It's uh, basically you drive around in this tiny tank and there's another tank. They're, they're like little chibi characters in their tanks and they shoot. And the moment you get hit by a tank bullet, it's an instant death. And that is just so satisfying. This, hopefully it plays out like that. This might be the Western version of it. That's more than 50. Hi, America. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Tiny Tank. Cue the theme song. Tinky, tinky, clinky, clanky. New from Centrax, Tiny Tank. America's lovable. Wait, 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 wait. Is that my theme song? Well, it hasn't been finalized yet. Wanky, wanky, tanky, tanky, what the f is that? You're being difficult. You're being an It's this trope. Oh, there, there, what you just did. That's the spirit we want. Who? A Centrax. It wants funding for a robot army. Ooh. To replace humans in wars. Ah, and I'm the cute little mascot. To get people to vote yes. Can I change my name at least? Who doesn't like drone warfare? I'm so worried about those Boston Dynamic dogs with guns on their back. Look, Tiny, you're cute and you're a killing machine. What's wrong with that? It's creepy. It's not creepy. It's cute. It's cute. A cute killing machine? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I got an 80 millimeter cannon for a nose. Hey kids, is this cute? <laughs> okay, we'll wrap for the day, get another camera, try again tomorrow. You okay, Fred? I'm all right. This reminds me of brave little toaster humor. Tank next time? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. I do know how to disarm one. Not disarm, but remove the battery easily. Alright. Oh. One second. I need to make it so I can use the analog sticks, because I forget that it changes every time I start a new game. If I move during the music, they won't see me? Oh my god, the camera is awful. Oh god. Is that a dodge button? What the heck? Okay, I have to rotate and then stop. There. Collecting marbles? Yeah, this is very floaty. Like, so much for tank controls, am I right? <laughs> like, you would expect a tank to have tank control. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Okay. Black 
This is like trying to be Gex and Sonic the Hedgehog at the same time with a tank. I'm not feeling it. Leave me alone. Well, goodbye, Tanky. This is, a uh, Something? Also, welcome in, DM. The game's kind of... lagging because of all the, uh, information on screen right now. Get out of here! How come it, I don't seem to be doing much damage to these guys at all? Shocking. Ooh, shocking. What is this? Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Just run for my life. Tiny Tank is the name? Okay, I wasn't sure. I, I, I honestly don't really pay attention unless I like the game and... Feels a little weird. I might demonstrate the other Japanese game that I was talking about, but unfortunately, it's a two-player game. Like, like it's a multiplayer experience. Like, you're not gonna have too much fun unless you have multiplayer. I like that you have treads in the ground when you drive, though. That's deep. That's neat. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I need to get out. Run for my life! He sounds so unenthusiastic to voice a tank. Yeah. Woohoo. Hey, stop shooting me. Shopping. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is, um,. Uh, not too good. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Was that a Death Star? Ultimate eight ball. <laughs> what is the, oh, why did that not appear in my, uh... oh, you know what, Boone, you redeemed something and it didn't appear as a redeem for me. I'm going to watch your video after I'm done with my demos today. I just wanted to let you know that I didn't see it as a redeem. I was like confused why you were calling it a redeem. Apparently, Metal Arms glitch in the system is a redeem that uh, DM just did. I don't know why it did not appear. But yeah, I'll, I'll put that on my to, uh, to try list uh, probably this Wednesday. Player one, the evil abyss versus Ed Case. Oh, I already know I like it. I played it before. I think it gets a little frustrating when you get farther along in the levels, especially because you need like the chips to succeed. All right. Uh, oh, I was hoping I could control it. All right. I just realized that all the balls are on here. Well, I did just now, didn't I? Listen to this music. Got it.
Okay, so Grand Theft Auto is a lot easier than this game when it comes to, uh, pool. <laughs> they put a sound effect for him scratching his sleeve, that's funny. I do remember that. Well, I did not enjoy that demo. Sorry. <laughs> Up to 16 players. Oh my god. Sleeve scratching FX makes this game a 10 out of 10 instantly. <laughs> Sleeve scratching. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh,. Expect this MIDI in certain types of medicine commercial. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe that I get from that. All right, let's see next. Three extreme, or just extreme. This one I remember, like I played the demo of the very first game, extreme. That was like one of the first PS1 games I ever played. So this is gonna be interesting to play as uh, the later version. Again, I'm kind of going through the official PlayStation Studios and Nut Sports. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of playing through the more recent demos, and then, like, once I get through all these, I'm going to start with the very old demos, and those are the ones I'm really looking forward to. Alright. Can I still punch people in this? Yes, I can. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, please. <laughs> Just because I wanted to be violent. Ow! Ow. Ow. Oof! Oh god! Am I cornered? How do I get away from here? Game, how do I- how do I escape? Oh god. Come on. Come on. There we go. The uh, first version of this game, you could go on the streets, and you could, like, run into pedestrians, and my favorite thing to do was, like, to hit random people with my punch as I'm going by. Ow! Ha! Ow! <laughs> See that NPC, like, stuck on the wall? It's a good thing Luke was not here to judge me for my skateboarding skills. There was another NPC stuck back there. Man, their AI is pretty bad. Ah. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, come on. There we go, I actually did a trick. Ow! <laughs> oh no, they managed to get through. It's because the area de-rendered on them. How do you make tighter turns? Wait! I was holding down X to jump. Squares jump, apparently. Ow. Come on, keep going, keep going. You got this. Okay, X is accelerate. Ah. Uh. Hey, ow! Oh. oh, I wanted to hit him. Maybe I can hit him up here. I like that they have, like, different types of, like, skating and whatnot. Like, they that guy's on rollerblades and I'm on a skateboard. Like, that's pretty cool. Talk about diversity in gaming, am I right? 
Ow. Extra jump is in most of these games. <laughs> Skateboard fail, yeah. Oh god. How come there? How, how did I catch up? There we go, punch her. <laughs> punch him. Oh, missed. Ooh, that was cool. I don't know how I'm able to catch up with these guys. Were they waiting for me? It's very kind of them. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. What? I didn't do anything. Is it because I didn't jump? Oh my god. This isn't unfun, I have to say. Ow! <laughs> yeah, Road Rash is a game I actually have as a uh, ROM. I've never played it before, but oh my god! Hi guys! Saying guys when I saw a girl there reminded me that the way I speak is not normal for most people because in Arizona, guys is a gender neutral term. And then when I left Arizona, I learned that it like very specifically was not. Hey, finish line. Hit him! Are you gonna throw fit? That was funny. These characters move like they're sprites still. That was an interesting game. I liked it. But I don't think I would I don't think I'm playing that on stream ever again. Unless it's a demo. Oops, so again, again I keep hitting right. I need to hit left. Final Fantasy VIII. I have not played a Final Fantasy uh uh this is one of the ones I have to reset. Got it. Trigger squall only. Interact King's character. Escape from battle L2 R2. That's the important one. <laughs> yeah, I I it's I just know that it's that's not what gets conveyed when you say it, it's unfortunately, but alright, about controller, about dim let's let's just fight. Let's just fight. Let's go. car and a bike game that's funny okay Dolik Dukedom at war with Galbadia army requested garden to dispatch seed that's way too many vocab words so early on the world-renowned team seed from garden the high-speed vessels in which they ride are about to land and dole it something or other. Trial version. Will I have a girlfriend after this? I like the Final Fantasy movie, by the way. What, are they driving in sneakers? Oh my god. The soundtrack was done with a Casio keyboard.
Squall. Safer. What are the orders? Do I hit next? Do I hit next? Am I the one who hits next? Yes. We are the B- We, the B Squad. Thank you, Exposition. Are to secure the central square. How many enemies? Wow, shouldn't you have briefed before you went into battle? Huh? A whole lot, obviously. I'm starting to see the DeviantArt personality type. With too few enemies, I'll die of boredom. To secure the central square, is that it? Enemy reinforcements are close by. That means more battles for us. Too bad those... For those who are scared... Who do you mean? Who knows? The central square. Come on. This definitely reminds me of DeviantArt. This is funny. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. It's just instant. Can I walk? There we go. Walking. Okay, but my god. <laughs> Enemies should be here. We took too long. Who exactly are these enemies? Yo, you serious? The Galbadia army, of course. Don't worry about it, Squall. Anyone who gets in our way is the enemy. Okay. Well, there goes some enemies. Zell, Squall! Press the R1 button. That just as you strike. Okay. Attack. Oh, it's live. I don't know what I'm doing. This feels weird. Like, I'm expecting, like, the camera to change every so often, but it doesn't. I feel like I'm not getting a good view of what's happening. Oh, is he dead? Well, he's dead. Cool. Potion received. Da -da 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 -da. Spice. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. Oh my god. Hey, it's this place again. I just, I never understood, like, the thing that used to bother me when I was a kid was, like, the idea that a, like, a turn-based game would, like, teleport you outside the battle area to fight you. I get it, but it's still weird. Young boys and girls, what? I know nothing about it. The central square is up ahead. Come on, you gal body or something. Show me your faces. Don't bore me now. Is he serious? This definitely is like a lot of people who were on DeviantArt were fans of this game. I can already tell. I've never, I haven't played, this is technically the first Final Fantasy I've ever played. The enemy's nearby, huh? Yeah, nah. Squall, don't disappoint me. Stop being careless and scope the area before any enemies. Let's fight this dog. Can't pet the dog? Whatever. Guess I'm spoiled. Don't go off on your own! Oh my god. Hey look, it's an enemy. He's just T-posing back there. Menacingly. You love it so much and there are people that hate it with a burning passion. Interesting. I did see that there was a love story kind of cover. 
This isn't the music of the final version? Interesting. I love when that happens. Beat his corpse! Hey, it's this song. Excellent. Interesting. I... I do plan on playing all the Final Fantasies at some point. Starting with, uh, the very first one. And I would be playing with a patch to make it so that, uh... So that it would be easier for me, for the record. I think they're gone. It seems that way. Okay, we'll wait for the enemy. We should be... What a boring word. Okay, bye. We're gonna go off on our own. <laughs> I did not watch it yet, no. I have to... Once I've finished my, um... Once I've finished my demo section, I'll do that part. What? Sounds like it's starting. Looks like it's for real now. Bring it on. Squall, check it out. This dog's licking safer. Get out of here. Shoo! Hey, Galbadia soldiers! What are you waiting for? Come to Papa! Excellent. I'm very glad for you. That's going to be wonderful. Oh, my cat. What do you want? Hmm? Do you want to get in my lap? Okay, get up. Where are they? Where are they, cat? Hmm? This is a game I can play with just one hand. Wait, do I move? Oh my god, I, I thought it was a cutscene. Is that, is that, um, that one guy from, um, he looks like he's just straight out of Kingdom Hearts. He just has smaller shoes. Is this the point where I interact with people? Look at my face. This is really boring. What is going on? Is this some kind of demo or something? What? Okay. Making us wait. I can't take this anymore. What kind of... What is this? Some kind of dog training? Oh my god. Considering all the gunfire and stuff we hear, it seems like it'd be easy to get some action, you know? Hey, the enemy. Where are they going? Okay. That's where we're going. <laughs> okay, let's go. But this is against orders. 
Weren't you just complaining about how bored you were? Squall! I stand behind the squad leader's decision. Okay, buddy. Squad leader's decision? Are you a fascist or something? You must want to create some havoc too, huh? Yeah, it's a perfect chance for to put our training to the test. Thanks to you, I can feel like some. I feel like I can beat someone up or something like that. Uh, necessary if I'd hire these mercenaries. Yeah, they they seem a little bit like war crimey. You just thank me when that time comes. Give me a break. You guys get along. You guys are buddies, man. Listen, this isn't just a battle. It's also a test, an important one. Let's not go off trying to do our own thing. Then you stay here. I don't need anyone who lacks interest. Huh? You wanna go? Probably more useful than certain someone. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> don't take it seriously, Zell. So, Cypher. Uh, Safer. If we're gonna go, let's hurry. No, you cannot pet the dog. The enemy is heading to, for the facility up on the mountains. We, the B Squad, are there are to secure the summit. Let's move. All right. Blank. Okay. These camera angles are pretty cool. Oh my god, what a weird camera angle for this. So, is this just me mashing the X button to succeed? Hey buddy, how you doing? What business do they have with the antenna now? I, as a child, used to play at that antenna facility. At the time, it was already closed down and... Oh, I was careless! Oh my god, cat. My cat just unplugged my headphones, which means the demo's over. Ah, <laughs> oh, curse this cat. Oh my god, why? Sorry about that. My, I don't know what it is. My, uh, my headphone jack is really sensitive. I think I need to open it and, like, refuse it to my computer. How unfortunate. Close. Let's do that again. Sorry about that. It was 22, or... Oh no, what number was that? I already forgot! I need to put, like, a check mark next to the ones I've already done. I think it was 23. Let's just check. Okay, yeah, we're on the right one. So I'm, I'm going to probably play eventually all the Final Fantasies because I am curious about why it's so popular. So don't think of this as a complete loss. Because I'll, I'll probably get to this one eventually. It'll just take me a while. Uh, Macross, let's do this one. Can't be too picky in these fantasy settings, I guess. Anyone shows up and doesn't complain about the coffee. Y'all give them coffee? I'll definitely, I'll definitely try out the uh, Final Fantasy at some point. I want I definitely want to play chronologically in release date order, 
because I feel like it'd be great to experience how good the games have gotten so I can have a well-rounded idea as to how to make this better. I might I might start making that like a weekend goal once I'm done with my uh, these. Oh wait! Oh, this is that game! Oh, this is gonna be cool. This is like a, a mech game. I already put this on my two playlist. And yeah, I'll be starting on the NES, yeah. I'm very aware of where to start on these. Oh wait, I'm moving. Oh! Whoa, hold on. Oh, not that button. What the, three forms? How do I go forward fast? Okay, it's like a fixed camera angle blade, but... Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. No. How do I... How do I go faster? Not this camera. Nope. I'm already, hold on. Let me fix something real quick. I might need a different... I wish I could change the camera a bit. Yeah, okay, there we go. Kinda gets me disoriented the way this is built out. There's my speed. This is disorienting. I feel like I need a different camera angle for this to work out right. There's a fire happening, I guess. Let me mute my mic. Loud. Uh, yeah, this is very disorienting. Um, maybe I don't want to play this. This game is crazy hard to understand. There's one guy left, though, so I'm doing something right.
Oh wait, do I auto aim like machine gun bullets somehow? What the heck? How does this work? Oh no, those are shells, those are shells. Sorry. There we go. Wait, how are you not dead? Oh my god. I don't think there have been any dogfights in real life with fire jets, has there? Since, like, like I feel like World War II had the dogfights and, like, that's it. Oh, I'm gonna pause this so I can read what you guys were saying. Just saw a squirrel outside blink your name in Morse code. You're scared. That makes sense. Scratching in your bedroom door. You should give her a squirrel- you should give her a- a-, a um, a little tree nut. Walnuts especially would work. Oh my god, I miss. Oh, I got him. There we go. Are there more coming? What am I looking at? Hmm, maybe this game's not as good as I thought. Is there something- hold on. There's gotta be something else. Well, I'm dead. That's fine. Mission failed! Okay, well, I said reset when I'm done, but my god. Hmm. It was like, uh, I don't know what to think about that game. Maybe I will remove it. That was a little bit unimpressive to me. Yes. Centipede. I think this is the, yeah, this is the uh, new, new version. How many other demos are there? I'm just curious. Okay, this is the last demo. Got it. Centipede. I think it's interesting that a lot of games wanted R3 to be the fire button. That's just super not intuitive to me, because I feel like it's like pinching down and like messing with your aim. Not the white one, no, the gray one. Can I change my camera? Ooh, I can strafe! That's unique! Hold on, there's gotta be a way to change the camera, right? Ooh, ooh, that's awkward. They made right analog stick strafe and then left analog rotate. Can I pick you up? I thought there was a way to... Okay. This is gonna be an experiment. <sighs> Alright. We're gonna try that again.
Your dad used to have that one, that, uh, over 1,000 games one, but the one that was very young, friend borrowed it from him a week, unfortunately passed away in an accident, and your dad didn't thought think it would be at, okay to ask back, so you don't have it anymore. Um, I actually think that you should invest, if you want a retro console that actually, like, is pretty good, I would encourage you to get the, um, or, like, a Raspberry Pi like this. It's a little mini computer. It's you can just put in an SD card, play the uh, some retro games on it. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet to help you out with that too. I would encourage you to try that out. Cause I, I think the little the little PS One thing it didn't have all the good games it could have had. All right, so I can pick you up, right? Yeah. So I'm saving them. Is he saying Bobby? This is okay, by the way. This is... It's kind of fun. It does sound like thanks, buddy. Maybe it is that. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, what, what game is it? Uh, I, I'm like Fortnite is basically entering the realm of when I was referring to like '70s games and '80s games as uh, retro. Oh wait, is this is that a progression point? There we go. Oh god, don't! Oh no! Okay. Funny that they didn't really change the sound effects for this game. Can I shoot this guy? Oh yeah. And I think he said Bobby No, by the way. <laughs> I swear I saw other camera angles in the, de the preview of this. There we go. Ow! Oh, you did do it. A point redemption. I don't know what's up with my uh, stream elements. I'll have to reconnect to it, I think. Because uh, DM also redeemed something and it didn't appear, but I'll, I'll raid Chance of Fire once I'm all done. This is weird. This is better than Pitfall 3D, though, I will say that. Oh god! He's saying, Bobby, save me. That's weird. Ow. Am I dead dead? Nope. I'm getting closer. This is uh, probably a bad demo, because like I feel like I'm getting my fill out of this.
Like, I see the point of it. And also, I'm surprised there's no music. Do I jump? Oh, it is there's a jump. There we go. Cool. That's it? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so we have two videos that I'm going to be watching right now. Real fast. Um, one video from Boon and one video from, uh, from Yamazaki. Yamazaki's video is of his girlfriend and uh, Boon's video is of himself, in a sense. Alright, so we're going to raid Chance of Fire. He is a uh, streamer that I personally thoroughly enjoy. He was like one of my first uh, first follows that actually became a mainstream regular for me. I really appreciate him. I find his version of streaming to be very similar and applicable to mine. I would encourage you to check him out. Give him a follow if you could. Um, thank you very much everyone for your conversation, your company, and your time. I appreciate all of you. Today was a very successful day. Thank you for hanging out with me to watch the uh, the boon videos. Thank you for watching the physics videos with me. Thank you for hanging out and just having a good time. I had a good time and I'm glad that it's good to know that I, I appreciate knowing that I can experiment a little with how I do my uh, Twitch stuff. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow with more PlayStation demos. Have a good night, guys. Bye.